Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. The purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and the will to help others. There are two means of refuge from the misers of life, music and cats. Do something wonderful, people may imitate it. The first step in the evolution of ethics is a sense of solidarity with other human beings. The tragedy of life is what dies inside a man while he lives. Sometimes our light goes out but is blown into flame by another human being. Each of us owes deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this light. I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. Constant kindness can accomplish much. As the sun makes ice melt, kindness causes misunderstanding, mistrust, and hostility to evaporate. One who gains strength by overcoming obstacles possesses the only strength which can overcome adversity. Happiness is nothing more than good health and a bad memory. Do not let Sunday be taken from you. If your soul has no Sunday, it becomes an orphan. Compassion, in which all ethics must take root, can only attain its full breadth and depth if it embraces all living creatures and does not limit itself to mankind. Think occasionally of the suffering of which you spare yourself the sight. Example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. The African is my brother, but he is my younger brother by several centuries. An optimist is a person who sees a green light everywhere, while a pessimist sees only the red stoplight. The truly wise person is colorblind. The only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. Man has lost the capacity to foresee and to forestall. He will end by destroying the earth. Never say there is nothing beautiful in the world anymore. There is always something to make you wonder in the shape of a tree, the trembling of a leaf. Man must cease attributing his problems to his environment and learn again to exercise his will his personal responsibility in the realm of faith and morals. A man is ethical only when life, as such, is sacred to him, that of plants and animals as that of his fellow men, and when he devotes himself helpfully to all life that is in need of help. By having a reverence for life, we enter into a spiritual relation with the world by practicing reverence for life we become good, deep, and alive. Anyone who proposes to do good must not expect people to roll stones out of his way, but must accept his lot calmly, even if they roll a few stones upon it. The true worth of a man is not to be found in man himself, but in the colors and textures that come alive in others. Life becomes harder for us when we live for others, but it also becomes richer and happier. Man can hardly even recognize the devils of his own creation. One thing I know, 
the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. Until he extends his circle of compassion to include all living things, man will not himself find peace. A man does not have to be an angel in order to be saint. I have always held firmly to the thought that each one of us can do a little to bring some portion of misery to an end. Ethics is the activity of man directed to secure the inner perfection of his own personality. Everything deep is also simple and can be reproduced simply as long as its reference to the whole truth is maintained. But what matters is not what is witty, but what is true. Do something for somebody every day for which you do not get paid. A great secret of success is to go through life as a man who never gets used up. A man can do only what he can do. But if he does that each day, he can sleep at night and do it again the next day. Humanitarianism consists in never sacrificing a human being to a purpose. The highest proof of the spirit is love. Love the eternal thing which can already on earth possess as it really is. If a man loses his reverence for any part of life, he will lose his reverence for all of life. We cannot possibly let ourselves get frozen into regarding everyone we do not know as an absolute stranger. As soon as man does not take his existence for granted, but beholds it as something unfathomably mysterious, thought begins. A man is truly ethical only when he obeys the compulsion to help all life which he is able to assist and shrinks from injuring anything that lives. The great secret of success is to go through life as a man who never gets used up. One truth stands firm. All that happens in world history rests on something spiritual. If the spiritual is strong, it creates world history. If it is weak, it suffers world history. Day by day, we should weigh what we have granted to the spirit of the world against what we have denied to the spirit of Jesus in thought and especially in deed. Let me give you a definition of ethics. It is good to maintain and further life. It is bad to damage and destroy life. I can do no other than be reverent before everything that is called life. I can do no other than to have compassion for all that is called life. That is the beginning and the foundation of all ethics.